If you're caring for children with a history of trauma and chronic stress, it's not enough to be just consciously compassionate. These children need safe adults who are competently compassionate in order to heal. The fact is, children who have experienced trauma and chronic stress have been affected at the very core of who they are, starting with their brains. The best way that we can become that competent, safe adult is to learn what has happened to our children's brains and what can we do about it. Now, trauma and chronic stress leave children with high levels of the stress hormone cortisol, levels that are actually toxic to their brains. These children become stuck in what we call a fear brain, a chronic state of fear. That brain chemistry is strikingly similar to that of adult combat veterans. Now, an important key to remember is that for these children, the experience of safety doesn't automatically come just because the threat is removed. Part of being a competent, safe adult is to know that we must be intentional in helping our kids not just be safe, but experience safety. Now, we can work to increase felt safety with a few intentional strategies. The first, offer our kids water, a healthy snack, and physical exercise every two hours. We can make their days predictable by following and posting a schedule and announcing transitions. Five minutes until we clean up. Three minutes, guys. Okay, one minute until we clean up. And we can use soft eye contact, nurturing touch, and control the volume and tone of our voices. These three simple strategies are great for all children, but they make a big difference in reducing fear and communicating safety for children who need it the most. Remember, trauma and chronic stress leave children living in a chronic state of fear. Proactive strategies like these help move a child towards felt safety and allow their brains to relax.